All right, what's up you guys? Back again with another video. In today's video, we're gonna find a reason to keep going, and that reason today is making your own windshield banner. Um, we're also gonna show you how to make your own decals and stuff like that. It all follows the same process, so what you learn here, you can take elsewhere. My name is Bryce, this is my little brother Tristan. Bryce is the helper for today's video. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go through, we're gonna show you guys the design process, how to cut it, how to apply it, all that kind of stuff. It's not super pertinent to buy the machinery or the materials if you don't uh, if you don't have a use for it if you're not going to be doing it frequently enough i bought my own stuff because i like the the access of being able to change out my stuff whenever i want but if you don't want to buy like a die cutter or the vinyl or anything like that maybe you just want to design your own stuff um, it's much like getting a tattoo so you can take that design um, a lot of like say your single age mom or I say single age middle age <laughs> <laughs> my bad dog a lot of like your middle age moms and stuff like that you know the ladies you see on Facebook cutting out uh, say t-shirts and stuff like that t-shirts or koozies or they're doing tumblers and all that kind of stuff they tend to have the materials and they tend to have the machinery to be able to cut this kind of stuff so you can typically if you want to draw something up you can present that to them and they'll normally cut it out for you fairly cheap as opposed to you know, finding a random website online to, to try and get all this done, you can keep it local. So we're gonna show you guys how to do all this stuff and we're gonna start by designing the, the decal that we're gonna do, the windshield banner, and we'll go from there. Let's go. Also, I just wanna let you guys know that I know the, the wind noise in my previous videos has been kind of horrendous. I got this little microphone now from my GoPro so we're gonna get you guys a lot clearer audio and hopefully make it a lot more enjoyable for you. Why are you so close? It's for suspense. The, the audience we're gonna, is we're gonna make worried. some good videos. The audience is worried. All right guys, so what you're seeing here, I'm going into an app called Procreate. Uh, my girlfriend likes to use it to draw, oh, wrong thing. Uh, my girlfriend likes to use it to draw and sketch and do that kind of stuff, so. I like to use it to design and that sort of thing. Um, it's really handy. Um, Y'all can see I, I make like the thumbnails and stuff from this app and you can go in. So basically what I'm doing here is just adjusting the screen size to uh, a roundabout of the dimensions that we're gonna have the banner. I am going to open up the uh, wrenched little tab. Don't know exactly what it's called, but basically I'm gonna go in, insert some text because our windshield banner is just going to be text with a fancy font. That's how it was last time. That's how I like it. So we'll go through. I've downloaded a couple fonts, um, you know, and this is this is a really good way to design. This is all on the iPad. You could also go and get like the Apple Pencil and stuff like that if you want to do any custom designs. Like I've made some uh, designs for decals and stuff like that. I've made quite a few of those and I've drawn out stuff especially if you're you're handy with it um i would really recommend checking out some videos on uh some of the stuff that people do with procreate you can actually just take photos off of google and stuff and you can go um don't copyright them of course but you can go in and kind of add your own twist and help get a, a outline and basis for uh whatever you may be trying to draw so but yeah this is just pretty much me trying to mock it all up once we have it mocked up, we're going to convert it over to a PNG file and then we'll get it over to the computer and upload it. That way we can go and put it in the Cricut design space and we'll cut out all the open space and, and kind of go from there. So you can see here, you just select it, you'll hit the PNG format and then I'm going to airdrop it to my phone. That way I can transfer it over to the computer. All right, you guys, now that we got it designed, we got it transferred over to the computer. You can see it right here. So this is our design. So we're gonna open up an app that comes with the Cricut machines. It's called Design Space. We can go in here, select new project. What we'll do is uh, upload an image. So it's just some old stuff that I've done. We'll grab that from the desktop. Should be it right there. Now what we're gonna do is do the, uh, you have to cut out the background. So we'll go in, basically just select everywhere where we do not plan on putting material. So should be. Just 
far as width goes, we are limited to about 23 and a half. Um, let's see. We're going to unlock that. We'll make them a little bit taller. Let's go four and a half inches. So it's 23 and a half by four and a half inches. Let's see. Hit make it. I'll do it on a mat. It's going to be a 24 inch mat. All right. That's it. So now that our design's in there, we are going to go in and let's see. Let's find some permanent vinyl. Yeah, we'll just. Oh, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. What kind of material do I have? So you gotta figure out what color we're gonna do. All right, so the material we're gonna be using, oh, let's see, can I zoom out? It's gonna be this Oracle picked it up from Michael's Oracle 651. It's gonna be like a bronze-ish uh, brass kind of color. And we'll, we'll use this one to set our stuff up. So we'll turn you guys over to the Cricket. So there's my mat. There's my cricket. I'm going to get the material laid down and then we'll get it cut. All right, now that we have it laid down, get my machine open back up. I'll get my mat placed in there. Scooch my machine back, that way I've got space to send it. And we're gonna press load. Then I don't have a ton of space here, so I'm gonna have to make sure that it comes out this way. Get these bubbles out of here. Out of here, bubble. Bubble, bubble. And if y'all want a detailed, a detailed deal on how to operate a cricket machine, the middle-aged white mom ladies do a way better job of explaining how all this works than I do. Basically, what it's gonna go and do is it just starts cutting the material and it's going to drag it through and cut it out in the design that we had selected. So I'm just going to follow it, make sure it all comes out good. But I'll record it just in case. God dang! Oh God! And guys, if y'all have like an office space where you keep all your, a lot of your stuff, and you also have a girlfriend, she will make it so dirty. All right, so now what we're gonna do, comes with a couple little tools. I'm gonna get all this out. I'm gonna turn my Cricut off, close this up, push it out the way, and we gotta weed it. So basically what we're doing, I don't know how well you can see that, but we have to cut out any unwanted material. So we'll get that done real quick. Can you still see me, boy? Can you still see me, son? I'm just a old lady. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit.
All right, guys, so this is the final design. Like I said, it's like that bronze color, so what we're gonna do is apply some transfer tape to the top of this, and we'll cut it all out, and we'll start applying everything to the car. All right, you guys, now that you have your design cut, you have your materials, um, so we showed you the, the banner, or the design that we're gonna be using. You're also gonna need a black material. Um, this is just a plain black permanent glossy black vinyl. We'll need some rubbing alcohol, get that, that windshield clean. I've got a slip solution. It's really just water with a drop of Dawn. It really doesn't even need the drop of Dawn. That's just, I just happen to still have this, so been hanging on to it. A um, couple rags to wipe it down and a measuring tape. Measuring tape's very important because if you try and eyeball it, it'll be off a good bit every time, but we'll go ahead, we'll get the windshield cleaned up. We'll get our placement down, take some measurements, make sure that's all good and we'll get it on there, so, yep. And guys, you can be generous with the rubbing alcohol. It does not hurt anything. Don't skimp on the rubbing alcohol. This is the most important part. Good adhesion is everything. All right, now if you're looking to use like any kind of water or anything, you can use it on the black, like the base layer, but depending on what kind of material you use for the actual design, if you do like any kind of like color changing material or anything, like a, a chrome or what they call like oil slick, you can't use that because it, it will mess up the material. So just bear that in mind. All right, so I guess we had the camera in too much sunlight, so it started to get hot and it turned off. But now what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a heat gun, just get it warm to the touch to make the material a little more malleable. And that way it'll help work like the little fingers and because you're, you're essentially, you're going around a curved glass with a straight material. So it's gonna wanna develop little creases and stuff. So in order to prevent that, we're gonna put a little heat to it. That'll help smooth things out. All right guys, so now we got the banner on. <laughs> we got the banner on. Um, now we have to apply the design. That's the most important part. Make sure we're getting it square. And like I said, depending on the material you're using, you can't use like a slip solution or anything like that. So we're gonna make sure we got it square before we peel the backing, uh, backing paper off and then we'll apply it. All right guys, so it's now on there. The only thing left to do is peel the transfer tape. Try and get that corner. Make sure you're not peeling up your material whenever you pull on it. Hold the camera. All right guys, we're gonna show you how to fix one of these. We'll just reapply it nice and easy. And I have a cricket, so if I wanted to, I could remake this, but I really don't feel like it. So, there we go, nice and easy. That's it, you guys. 
The only thing left to do, I'm going to turn my car around. That way the sun can hit it. But we'll go inside and address any questions. And yeah. All right, you guys. That was how to make your own windshield banner. You can also use that same process to make decals and stuff of the sort. So um, overall, I think it turned out pretty good. And if y'all have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And got anything to say? Make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that like. Turn on notifications. All right, guys. See you. Thanks for watching.